Reportedly, more than 10 million women and men are affected by domestic violence each year. Family and friends often feel clueless as to how they can help. But local advocates against domestic violence say there are ways to assist a loved one trapped in a toxic relationship. I was praying, Lord help me to understand what happens when people get sick or when they get stuck. Maria Lazoya had no clue her prayer would be answered in May of 2020. <laughs> That's when her niece's mother, Chastity Wright, was held hostage and shot four times by her now former fiancé. Wright's daughter ran to Lazoya's house for help. They weren't arguing. You know, he was a calm manner guy. He spoke, he... I have never... Have y'all ever heard him raise his voice? Like many family and friends, she became the answer to prayers when the unexpected happened to a loved one. So I get a lot of phone calls um, from moms and grandmas and aunts and, and, you know, they see that their loved one is in an abusive situation and, you know, they don't know what to do. Amy Hall is the executive director of Safe Homes Domestic Violence Center, which covers the CSRA and communities across the state. She says the first thing to do is don't judge. You know, um, listen, keep that open line of communication so they can trust you. Don't ask questions like, why don't you just leave? She also says, use the two Bs, believe and do not blame. Continue to be that non-judgmental listening ear, trust what they're saying, and at some time, they're going to leave. You know, the stats say it's one in seven times, and I have seen that more than not. For many victims, walking away is just as painful as the abuse. Maria Lazoya says the path can come in phases. She's either in the beginning phase to where it just happened. He's apologizing now, and he's promising that I'll never do it again, and she's believing that. It's, or she's in the phase to where it has happened again, and she's hoping. I love you so much, and I'm hoping that you'll never do this again or she's in that final stage of now I'm trying to plot on how to get out of here you know once she starts talking to friends family about it she's ready listen it's been more than a year since Chastity Wright's nightmare with her former fiance while Lazoya prayed for understanding she says prayer will help them all move on we didn't focus on that day and we didn't stop at that day we kept getting up and we kept praying and we kept seeking guidance, like help us, help us through this. And for more information and help, contact Safe Homes Domestic Violence Center. The number is here on your screen, 706-736-2499 or 1-800-799-SAFE. Or the Cumbie Center to Assist Abused Persons Incorporated. The number is right here, 1-803-649-0480. We have all of this information and much more on our website, wjbf.com. We'll be right back.